In our last problem solving video, we arrived at a derived data frame that was a combination of two separate ones where we joined on their index. Well, in this video, we're going to quickly talk about how do we rename these columns so that they're more descriptive. Really, the family count is the total family, and then the age is an average age value instead. So we can do this. And again, what we'll notice is when we modify the data frame itself, we don't persist those changes in a, a copy of a new, for a new data frame. We, we want to change it in place. Okay, so it looks something like this. Uh, I'm going to call the rename method of that data frame, our summary DF uh, data frame. And it has a columns keyword argument. And the way that you represent the columns is through a dictionary. So how that happens is then the, the key will be the way the column is currently named. And then its value will be its new name. So I'm going to call this family uh, total. And then I'll have another keyword argument here, or sorry, key value pair for the age column. And we'll rename that to uh, average age. OK, here's where we will do the in place. So I'm going to comma separate this, and we'll have the in place keyword argument set to true. And in this way, it'll change this data frame in memory. And now when we look at it, we have more descriptive names for how what the data is actually representing.